You have made me a worshiper. Listen, hold on one minute. Let me talk to you, my dear worship people. Pray, oh, don't just have good voices for songs. You see, let me tell you why many, many, many people who sing don't bless people. They don't pray. They only train their voice. Voice training without a track record of solid prayer, the deficiency will show on stage. No matter how you twist your voice. You are leading praise and worship. You don't just rehearse and clear your voice and take lemon and honey and come and sing. You are dealing with spirits. You are dealing with destinies. Take out time and pray. From that place of prayer, the difference will be very clear that you are carrying something on your head. Please, my dear people, pray. Worship team, pray. God is raising you. It's not only your songs. It is prayer that puts something on that song. More than melodies. and you stand to lead worship and as you just raise one song the glory that emanates from your prayer altar through your voice just sweeps across the place and you are seeing sick bodies getting healed you are not even aware just one song and they say what kind of a worshiper are you it's beyond songs beyond songs it is in the place of prayer you will receive many songs there are songs you don't have the brain to compose they will come by the spirit sometimes you will fall asleep while praying and then you will hear the angels are singing hosanna in the heights the angels are singing You will not hear any angel with spiritual or seriousness. No. Prayer and fasting. Please pray. I will not give you rules. But let me challenge you. If you are a serious Christian. This is my personal opinion. At least there should be a day once a week. For you to fast. If that is too much, then forget about revival. Believe me. This is not a doctrine I'm giving you. There's no place like that in scripture. But I'm telling you, any, as if you are called into ministry, let me challenge you and, and, and admonish you by the message of God. Except you want to make mockery of yourself and make mockery of the name of the Lord through your life. There is a level of stamina. You have to trust God for grace to tame food. It is good to eat. I'm not one of these people that advocate people have died through carelessness and died the death of fools. That's not what I'm teaching you. You want to lay hands on the sick and see miracles? You want to speak the word of God and let it come with power? Man of God, pray. There are some of us who are young, we are just starting and already we are careless. One month, no prayer, no fasting. And I hope you know that fasting is not just a time where you abstain from food and sleep. You are not fasting. Albeit that is important for your health. But that is not fasting. When there is no prayer, what study and worship, you did not fast. Let me repeat. When there is no prayer, what study and worship, you did not fast. No matter, even if you do 48 hours, 72 hours, that was spent sleeping if there is no prayer word study and worship you did not fast so just because you slept by nine and woke up by four and slept back again and woke up quarter to five and already started arranging your food waiting for six on the dot of course god will honor you he's merciful but i am telling you that's not fasting And we will never...